What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got something a little bit different. It is gym related, obviously, because as you've seen by the title, it's about testosterone levels. So we're gonna to cover today how I managed to shoot my natural testosterone levels off the chart. So without further ado, let's jump on in. All right, so disclaimer. Nothing in this video is me telling you what to do, not to do, giving you advice, anything like that. This is purely me trying to fault find and diagnose the reason of why this has happened to me. So, back at the beginning of the story, about five years ago when I moved to Melbourne, um, I got my like test levels tested just because I like to keep an eye on my body, make sure everything's like running smooth. And when I got my results, um, I scored a 15. Uh, I think it's like nanomoles per deciliter or something like that. I'm not sure of the scientific specific term. If you do know it, chuck it in the comments. Um, in Australia, we test between, so uh, the normal range is between eight and 30. So I was within normal range, but I was kind of the lower end of the scale. So nothing drastic, nothing terrible, but also nothing like super great. You know, you kind of like, oh, okay, like well done, you're in the middle of normality, right? At that point, I thought to myself, okay, that kind of just tells me that in a couple of years, in maybe five, six years, something like that, maybe I'm going to need to go on hormone replacement therapy because we're getting older, test levels dropping, all good. That's just kind of what I put it down to. Now, five years down the track, I have thought to myself, you know what, let's go and get another test. Let's just like check things out, see how I'm going. Went, went in, had a test, came back and I scored 31.1, which is literally off the top end of the scale. Super stoked, super happy. Um, and I was like, hmm, how have I done this? Because obviously when I'm younger, um, well not obviously, but when I was younger, I was always looking into stuff like with the gym, how can I boost my natural testosterone levels? How can I, you know, this, that, and the other? And you Google it and you YouTube it and all that sort of stuff, which is probably why you guys have clicked on this. But this may be able to help you, I don't know. But let's dive into the story together. So. I started having a chat with one of my uh, best mates about what would have resulted in this, right? So we kind of look into it and he's asking me, oh, what do you take? What do you this? And I'm like, oh, well, I made the videos, like basic vitamins, you know, that's all I take, protein, creatine, stuff like that. He's like, okay, cool. So looking through that. Now, we got to a few conclusions, which I think make sense. There are a few lifestyle conclusions, obviously, because that's what is created this situation in my body. Um, uh, side note, estrogen levels are healthy as well, so it's not like all my hormones are just super elevated, it's just the testosterone, which is a choice. Now, number one, which I think is probably the biggest one, and a lot of people might not be able to adhere to this, which is fine, like, you know, like do whatever you wanna do. You can take this advice and run with it, or you can just watch this video for some entertainment, your choice. But number one is, I don't really drink alcohol. I know it sounds weird, and I know it's probably quite shocking to a lot of people, especially all you Aussies out there, because we're a big, you know, alcohol drinking society. Uh, yeah, I don't really drink. Um, no, it's not from like an issue or a, like anything like that. Like I drank heaps when I was younger, but I just kind of got bored of it, like to be honest. Um, like I, I got sick of having hangovers, wasting my days hungover. I despise feeling hungover. So that was a big thing that changed my mind was I just hate that feeling. Um, and yeah, I was like wasting, I, you know, I was working really, really hard at the point that I kind of made this change. I was working like 13 day fortnights, 12 hour days, and you know, you have one day off and you end up being hung over for it and I'm not about it. I was just like, nah, I'm getting one day off a fortnight, I'm not gonna be hung over. And that just kind of rolled into my normal life. So I think a big thing of that is, you know, that's probably helped in a big way. I know that um, there's like, you know, scientific um, studies on drinking alcohol can drop your test levels, can increase estrogen levels, um, side note, Increasing estrogen levels apparently isn't that bad. Um, obviously, you need estrogen for um, muscle growth. If you didn't know that, you actually do need estrogen for that, and it is a big. Um, it's a. It, it takes a big part in sex drive as well, which is I didn't know that when I was younger. So, um, but it can drop your testosterone. Now, I think it's so insignificant that it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the other thing is, like I was talking the other day about my ab workout. If I'm chipping away at that mountain a little bit every single day, eventually I'm gonna knock a mountain down. 
So if you're chipping away at your um, test levels two, three times a week, maybe it would eventually take an effect. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe your body like, you know, recovers from that so quickly that it, it doesn't care, but maybe it doesn't. So I think that is possibly one big factor, uh, purely because, yeah, it, like it's made, I've, I've made such a difference in my test results that I think that's probably a big factor. Uh, number two is stress levels, like cortisol and stuff. Back when I got my last test, I was a casual worker, uh, jumping between contracts. It was very stressful. I would also stress about a lot of stuff. I'd let everything affect me. Don't get me wrong, I still let a lot of stuff affect me. I still notice a lot of things and stress about a lot of things. But it's a lot, a lot less than I used to. Um, so coming up with ways to deal with stress, I think is a massive factor because when you're stressed, you have higher cortisol levels. Higher cortisol levels apparently can affect hormones, um, drop test levels, things like that. So I think a huge factor of that is stress levels. And honestly, guys, all this aside, dealing with stress levels completely changes your life. You feel a lot better. Obviously, you're not as stressed, but just, you know, overall, it's a, it's a good thing to, I guess, learn how to deal with stress, manage stress. 100% like sort that out because your your life will change. Number three. So the third thing I think, uh, back obviously when I had the last test, I was training like seven days a week. I wasn't having rest days. I wasn't letting my body, body recover. I wasn't letting like my nervous system recover, things like that. I was all, oh, no days off, train every day, oh, blah, blah. Nah, do not, like, ugh. okay, I'm not gonna tell you not to, but if I, if I was talking to a younger me, I'd be like, Adam, don't do that because since I have changed my training up, I do four days on, one day off. Um, since I've been having recovery days, I feel like I grow more. I feel like obviously my body feels better. And I think letting your body recover like that, you're not putting such a stress and a strain on um, all of your body's systems. Uh, so I think that that has probably been a big factor in helping my test levels boost as well purely because like my body is not under so much stress and I know I was saying stress and strain heaps of times but it is if you're training seven days a week you're putting your body under a lot of uh, pressure and you're not letting the pressure off at all so you know something's got to give and I think personally that was hormones and number four in saying that I think training has done a big that has been a big uh, part of boosting my test levels because I have seen studies that regular lifting, regular like weight exercises, things like that uh, can promote your test levels to increase. So I think that has been a big part of it as well. So honestly, I think they're the four big parts that have uh, added to the end result of my test levels going up. Uh, I would like to look further into it and I would actually like to maybe do like a sit down with someone who really, really understands uh, hormone levels and all that sort of stuff. Because honestly, I look at it and I'm like, what am I looking at? So I'd love to sit down with someone. I know one of the boys in the gym, he knows a lot about this stuff. So I'd love to be able to sit down with him. I guess kind of a podcast kind of set up. I'm not starting a podcast, but that kind of a setup, and just chat about it and get a bit more information so that you guys can have a professional's point of view on it. Now, before we end, I would like to also touch on a couple of things that like my lifestyle choices that people might be maybe stressed about uh, affecting hormones, things like that. Now, I don't know if these actually do. They might actually affect things. Maybe my levels would be like 40 if it wasn't for these things, but these are things that I do. So guys, my diet is not perfect. I am not one of those, I guess, gym influencers, if you want to call me that. I don't think I'm that at all because I don't even really have a big following. But um, I do not have the best diet. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, I eat this and this and this. I could show you a day of my eating. Um, well, I could show you two. I could show you a day of what I should be eating and I could show you a day of what I actually eat because, I mean, like, at the moment, I'm moving house and I am flat out. I'm sipping on these bad boys. Uh, I'm having, like, protein shakes. If I remember to try and get, any, like, some protein in me, you know, I'll have 
like a microwave meal in the middle of the day, it's not the best and I would not suggest anyone do it. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not having the perfect diet at the moment. I'm not like, oh, I've got to eat this and this and this. I need to have this many fats, this many carbs. Um, I should be, and my body would reflect it massively. When I, when I literally stick to it for like two or three weeks, my body looks completely different. Uh, and I, I really need to stick to it because I'm trying to get ready for Ibiza. Um, but I've been slipping off lately, I really have. I told you guys I lost like four kilos or whatever it was. I'm super happy about that. I've put one back on. Could just be water, but yeah, I've been slipping. I need it. I need to stop slipping. But my diet's not always perfect, and I don't want you guys to think, oh, you know, it's it, it's unattainable because his diet is 100%. Well, it's not. Sorry. And the other thing that I want to talk to you about is caffeine. I, I abuse caffeine. I'm not going to lie. I have more than an average bear should. Um, so. If you are worried about that, like if you're cutting all caffeine out of your diet, I mean, I don't, and that's where my levels are. Maybe you should. Maybe, again, if I did, maybe my levels would be like 40, 50. Maybe they'd be crazy. But I don't because as much as I love the gym, as much as I'm trying to benefit my body, grow my body, get leaner, get healthier, things like that, I also want to enjoy my life. If I'm not enjoying my life, what am I doing, you know? Like if, I, I feel like if I'm going so hard and fast with the gym. Like I'm not trying to be a pro, I'm not trying to like bodybuild um, and compete again. Like I've done that, I don't want to do it again. But if I go to that point that I'm not enjoying my life, uh, well, I, I don't know, what am I doing? If I'm doing it professionally and I'm like, you know, I want to become a pro, I want to do all that kind of thing, 100% agree, you've got to make sacrifices. Things like that are gonna go by the wayside. You, you might have to cut out, you know, desserts for a while or, you know, mass amounts of desserts, all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's probably a thing that's gonna happen because you're going for pro, you're going for the tip top, top elite. I'm not, I'm just trying to be a guy that can help other people out in the gym. I'm enjoying my YouTube, I do my car stuff, I enjoy life, I like to go out for a meal. Man, I am obsessed with food, I am a snacky boy, that kind of thing. I love coffee and I love energy drinks. Like, I'm a huge advocate for it. So, I haven't had mine, like, I mean, like, so what I'm saying is, I've still been able to get mine off the charts with still having this, with still having my desserts, with still having my pizza and stuff. Obviously, I am not eating pizza every single day. I'm normally quite on track, macros wise, calories wise. Um, even if it's not the perfect foods, I keep track of my day-to-day -day intake um, so that I'm not blowing out but I generally like like to have a bad meal once or twice a week, you know? So I just, I wanna try and kind of take away the stress that people might be under. I don't know, they've heard of bro science being like, caffeine kills your testosterone. And then you cut out your caffeine and you're hating life and you're tired and you're like, man, this sucks. And I don't even know if it's working or you go off like blood test after blood test, you know, <laughs> chill, you know, don't stress. Obviously, if you're in a, like a situation where your testosterone is very low and your doctor's telling you to do things and your doctor's trying to, like, I don't know, cut out specific little things to make sure, okay, that's not affecting it, that's not affecting it, that's not affecting it. Obviously, follow what your doctor's saying. But if you're just like one of the bros that's just like, man, I'd love to be able to boost my testosterone. Oh, I heard a bro science thing that cutting out all caffeine's gonna do that, but I'm now hating life. I don't, I, I personally don't think that's worth it. You know, enjoy your life, enjoy your caffeine, enjoy your coffee in the morning and stuff like that. Because like, for example, if I go to the gym and I'm feeling a little bit sluggish and I don't have my double espresso before I go into the gym, I have a rubbish session. But if I'm feeling sluggish, I have my double espresso, I cruise into the gym, I have a killer session, I'm in a good mood, I'll probably randomly compliment like three people in the gym so that I don't even know, so they feel great about it. And it's just like a lot more positivity came out of that double espresso, you know what I mean? If I was tired, I wouldn't have complimented someone, I would just have headphones in, head down, just try and kill my workout, but it wouldn't work because I'm tired, you know? So I just wanted to touch on that stuff for you guys, because I know this is like a subject that uh, a lot of people can be interested in, especially like obviously guys trying to like, maybe get the best out of their gym situation, um, and this may help. So I wanted to show you guys a few things, maybe cutting down your alcohol might help, maybe like stressing less is gonna help. I reckon the stress one's like 100%, the alcohol thing, maybe not, but um, I just know that's what I do. 
Um, and I don't do any of these things to raise my testosterone, okay? I'm not like, you know, meditating every morning, like, mm, I need to boost my testosterone. Mm. I'm not even thinking about it. Like purely it was thought that came to my mind and I'm like, mm, maybe I should get that checked. It's been like five years and then it came up great. And then we've looked back at my lifestyle changes to see what maybe has affected it. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. I'm going to have to love you and leave you because I've got to keep moving house. We're trying to move all the little fiddly bits that you can fit in the back of Brooke's car um, and it is a pain. So I'm gonna be flat out all day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, hit the like, hit me in the comments. Let's have a chat. Let's, uh, let's get some back and forth going. The algorithm loves comments. It loves likes. It loves all your views. I appreciate all of them. If you do want to hang around and see more videos from me, have a look at the channel. We've got a whole bunch of different stuff. It's not all this. It's cars. It's uh, vlogs. It's going out. It's traveling. It's heaps of stuff. So if you want to hang around, hit that sub button. Maybe you ring the bell. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.